Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this channel, I talk about all things beautiful and luxury and how to uh, purchase and uh, enjoy these mindfully. If this is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel and uh, please don't forget to thumb up the uh, video. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Um, so I want to um, do a follow up review of my recent uh, Miss Dior or the perfume, perfume, uh, deluxe sample. That's the five mil. Such a cute uh, miniature bottle. Um, now you might have noticed I have not done um, much follow up perfume review in my channel yet because I like to enjoy my um, and perfume slowly and get to know them um, slowly before I do follow up. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do this uh, earlier is because um, I've actually developed a sensitivity reaction or allergic reaction to this Miss Dior um, uh, perfume range. Um, that I just wanted to, I guess everyone's skin is different, um, but I thought I'd just share with you that, uh, you know, this perfume has been giving me a bit of a uh, redness. Uh, on my skin like it's not itchy but i definitely noticed that um when applying this perfume it gives me a uh, quite pronounced uh, red rash um, and at the beginning i thought it may be due to the alcohol content um, and so i just wanted to sort of do a patch test here on um, this channel uh, in real time um, to see whether it is in fact due to the alcohol content or whether it is actually due to the ingredients uh, of the perfume itself. Now Miss Dior uh, is a very floral perfume uh, which is why I thought I would like this perfume but um, I have to say I don't enjoy the scent too much unfortunately like the top notes are beautiful um, but I don't actually find that I enjoy how the smell uh, the perfume developed uh, over my skin um, so here I've just sprayed on my other uh, wrist there um, the sample for Miss Dior the Parfum um, so that should have the lowest concentration of alcohol uh, in it um, so as I wait for the skin to uh, I guess wait for the time for the uh, perfume to sit on my skin to see whether it develops a bit of a um, allergic reaction um, I thought I would also do a bit of an unboxing uh, of my recent uh, Dior beauty purchase here as well uh, whilst we wait uh, for the skin to show any signs of um, uh, redness you know this is just me and my skin but making this video i'm not here to say that this perfume is no good for um, people with um, sensitive skin um, but i just want to yeah like demonstrate why it's important not to make uh, big per perfume purchases um, before you've actually had time to um, use up the sample uh, to make sure your skin can tolerate it first. So I feel very um, glad that I didn't just go out and purchase the perfume um, because on the initial sniff I thought I would I like the scent um, but as I use it more um, with the samples that was given um, yeah I just don't think I really quite enjoy it when how it developed on my skin it gives me a bit of a like a like a, a shower gel type of um, sense um, you know as as I give it time to develop off my skin um, now the recent um, beauty um, purchase from Dior that I made is online uh, comes in a beautiful uh, cardboard box um, you can choose the echo packaging but um, I'm a sucker for packaging so obviously I chose the uh, the couture uh, option now uh, with each uh, purchase it comes with more samples so ah, yes I have um, chosen the Miss Dior or the Parfum 
sample. I probably should have chosen the other one, but uh, which is a lipstick um, palette sample. Uh, but oh well, maybe I could give this to um, someone else to enjoy and try um, and see whether the samples are for them. Now the I ordered two um, item um, online. They're both um, cleansers. One is the eye and lip uh, makeup uh, by Phasic uh, Remover. Um, so I wanted to try this. Uh, I previously used like an oil-based cleanser and I just find uh, maybe my skin is, you know, I'm in my 40s now and so maybe my skin is getting a bit more matured and I guess less robust. But I find like when I use the oil cleanser um, and rub it, uh, you know to to remove my makeup I find that my skin does get red afterwards and um, and yeah I just feel like it's overall not doing my skin uh, much good when I need to sort of remove the makeup by uh, rubbing the oil in first and then adding water to make it into a milk um, so a bit of a check on my skin now um, I've noticed, started noticing a bit of redness. I don't know whether you can see it very clearly here. Uh, I'll just try to angle it. Yep, so see here you can see quite a bit of redness developing um, on both arms. Um, so here is the Order Parfum one. So you can see how there is already redness developing here and you know this the the skin over these areas are generally you know tolerate other perfume quite well and this is the perfume sample side um, yeah so I don't think it's the alcohol this time it's probably more related to the actual ingredients uh, of this range of misty or perfume now the other uh, item I purchased is the cleansing milk um, so it's got the seal um, on the cap and yeah 200 mils um, I thought the price is uh, reasonable in comparison to um, the Estee Lauder uh, cleansing milk that I'm using um, so face and eye cleansing milk so this is uh, suitable for the eye area as well I was looking initially in the um, Chanel one um, but uh, apparently the Chanel one you know it's not suitable for eye area so yeah look yes you can see how the uh, redness is developing more now it's a bit more pronounced still not itchy though uh, which I guess is at least good um, so that's the perfume sample uh, for this arm yeah so you know if it was alcohol um, sensitivity I would expect it to be um, more pronounced on the auto perform side um, that's this side and you can see in comparison yeah look I I kind of think the perform one is a bit more pronounced and red look it is a crude very crude test this is in no way in a scientific um, experimental design um, so definitely a lot of confounders that could be in play here but yeah I wonder whether is you know maybe the jasmine that I am allergic to I don't know um, and I don't think I can tell really because there are so many ingredients um, in that is listed here I don't think I would be able to you know really work out what's actually causing the redness um, but suffice to say look it's n the fragrance itself is not something that I'm really enjoying and um, adding to that I'm develop you know developing the red rash to it I think this uh, is um, a deciding factor for me that I would not be making, um, you know, spending money making the Miss Dior uh, line of perfume um, purchase anymore. 
um, which is a bit sad because I guess it's the more the iconic uh, sort of uh, perfume range in Dior and I do love the bottle um, and how pretty it looks um, yeah that's a shame and the other sample I got is the J'adore sample um, I have not actually tried this um, scent before um, so I might as well uh, test it out as well I'll pull up my sleeve and test it on a bit further down perhaps um, maybe here so let's give it a few spritz Mm, look, the scent is quite fresh, I guess. Um, again, it's not giving me a very wow, I love this scent type of first impression at the moment. Um, so let's just um, give it a bit of time and um, I'll keep on trying this. Now, I've also purchased this on Amazon. Um, it's a fragrance dropper and decanter. I thought it might be good like you know to see whether I could use this to decant um, perfume into a little spray bottle. I don't know. Has any of you, you uh, has any of you guys used this and does it work? Um, please let me know. I'll be interested to know. Um, I've just bought it but at the moment I don't think I've got a use for it currently. Um, yeah, so I'll just take this away. And uh, so far, it seems okay. Um, maybe I'll just give it a bit more time. We'll just take this opportunity to also um, review maybe some lipsticks whilst we continue to see how things evolve with my patch test. Um, now, I recently made the purchase of this Dior lipstick 373 Rose Celestial um, Dior Addict. Um, I just want to compare with my other, only one and only other luxury lipstick, which is the um, Hermes number 19 Satin Rose Bruyere. Um, I've done a bit of a review shorts video for the Hermes one if you haven't seen that um, I'll link it for you to take a look on the swatch of that now with the Dior um, lipstick I you know I think the packaging I prefer the Hermes one um, which is a bit more of a classic round shaped um, and the lid uh, look I just love the, the the magnetic lid it just really makes it so enjoyable to use and also the Hermes one comes with a pouch um, that is very well fitted to the lipstick um, so I think you know in terms of putting lipsticks in handbag I definitely use the Hermes one rather than the DL one just because of the size um, and the shape it's much easier to put the Hermes one in smaller handbags now the color um, I like um, with the Dior Addict I think I've chosen a good color for my um, true winter skin undertone um, now in comparison to the Hermes color um, which is equally beautiful uh, for true winter skin tone look actually I think you know I, I quite like both I enjoy both. I love the Hermes color. Um, I have to say I probably love the Hermes color still more than the Dior one, but I guess it's got different place. Um, like the Dior one I find when I don't put on any other eye makeup, then you know this the the, the, the brightness the color of the Dior one really sort of pops. Um, and I find it yeah, it's its greatest a statement um, of the makeup focus, whereas the Hermes one is probably you know the one that I would use when I'm putting on other makeup as well. Um, now, in terms of um, staying power, um, I've just done a bit of a kind of a smudge there. Um, sorry about the camera focus there. Um, 
look, I find probably the Hermes ones they a bit better. Um, and in terms of the fueling, um, the hydrating power of the lipsticks, again, I think Hermes win. Um, I've noticed when I use the Hermes lipstick, I don't get peeling of my lips at the end of the day. Uh, whereas for um, the Dior one, I do. And again, I think it's probably reaction to um, the fragrance maybe, or it's just not as hydrating. Yeah, so I guess it's a bit of a miss uh, with my recent um, Dior purchase. I definitely would not be using the Miss Dior fragrance range again. With the Jador one, look, I think I'll need to try it a bit longer to make a decision. Um, you know, just from the first impression, it's not giving me a wow factor. I mean, I don't hate it, but at the same time, I don't love it. So I guess, you know, something that... If I get a sample, look, I'll probably use it. Um, but would I be using my own money to purchase it? Probably not. Um, yeah, but you know, the Miss Dior, look, oh, it's such a shame because it's such a cute, cute bottle. Um, I mean, I was still probably using it for um, displaying in my cupboard. Um, and yeah, I don't know, the spray bottle, is that a good idea? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So I guess another way of me using um, fragrance that I do not tolerate well or that I don't love, love, love how it develops on my skin. Um, I have been actually um, spraying them in my beauty corner. Um, this is my corner of joy. Um, so here I've got a fragrance here. Again, this is a freebie um, that was from uh, that is from Mecca uh, Beauty Loop. Um, so what I do is I just spray it inside when when I'm standing here picking up my cosmetic samples when I've you know finished using uh, my old one and unboxing a new one this is my uh, little corner of joy so I spray the perfume in there so that when I next time open it I can just smell um, beautiful scent coming out I have to say I generally am not too fussy when it comes to scent on other services um, but when i'm wearing it all the time that's when i am picky oh look the jador one is actually also developing a bit of a redness on my skin as well <sighs> so that's a bit of a shame um, now what i've one thing i've noticed is um since i've developed the um sensitivity to the miss dior one I'm also now a bit sensitive to the Coco Mademoiselle, which didn't used to happen. Guys, I don't know whether is this like a Crocs reaction? You know how sometimes when you developed an allergy to one thing um, and then it sensitized you to another ingredient thereafter that is similar to the first ingredient. Um, so here I've got my uh, remaining patch of unaffected area. I'll spray it here and let's just see how it um, develops. Um, I'll demonstrate how now I'm also reacting to the Coco Mademoiselle fragrance, which is which is really, really sad because I do love this fragrance. Now guys, it looks like um, the Jador patch test area is also reacting. You can see here is quite a pronounced redness here that's developed on my Jador area. Uh, now whilst I wait for the Coco Mademoiselle to um, patch test, I just want to um, sort of do a follow up review of the solid perfume of the um, Miss Dior, uh, the blooming uh, bouquet version. So they've got two versions. One is the order perfume, and this one is the order toilet, the blooming bouquet version. Uh, look, I have to say, 
um, the scent out of all the Miss Dior range that I have tried this one is the one that smells most like shower gel um, I'm sorry if you like this um, fragrance please don't get offended I think it's probably just the sweetness to the floral that develops on my skin that re really makes it that fruity that very much shower gel type of fragrance um, so I have to say look whilst I like the texture of this solid perfume and the idea of it I don't like the packaging as I've mentioned in my initial first impression uh, review it's really quite mediocre the packaging um, feels very plasticky and it, it probably is plastic and the yeah I, I, it looks good on the photo but in real person the packaging really is subpar I have to say um, now at the follow-up for um, you know review of this body lotion I haven't used it much because I'm really saving saving it up um, but luckily it hasn't given me any reaction um, despite it being a fragranced body lotion I have to say it probably doesn't feel very moisturizing uh, for it to be like a winter type of body um, moisturizer which is why I haven't really used it as it is currently winter in Sydney um, but the fragrance is very nice uh, very nicely scented very um, light floral type of scent without the sweetness or the fruity um, that the Dior has so this, this one definitely is uh, one that I do enjoy um, and I might repurchase when it's uh, when it's finished now here you can already see the reaction starting for the Coco Mademoiselle arm um, the redness is definitely there um, again it's not itchy but uh, yeah it just looks quite red um, and yeah but not as bad as the Jador one look the Jador one is really really quite uh, impressive reaction there um, so yeah it means I probably won't be getting the Jador perfume um, given that it wasn't a very much of a wow first impression in terms of the scent and is definitely reacting the Coco Mademoiselle I don't know like I've already got a full size bottle and actually a smaller size version as well that was gifted to me my, by my husband uh, with my birthday um, so yeah look maybe I'll give give it a bit of a break during winter given that initially I didn't really react to it so maybe it is a bit of a cross reaction after I'm sensitized to the Dior ingredients maybe um, so maybe if I give it a bit of a longer break then I can use it again or I might just have to like spritz it on you know a tissue and keep the tissue in my pocket or you know do something so that I could still enjoy this uh, perfume on me without it being on my skin um, I know some people spray perfume on clothes but um, it can stain so I'm a bit hesitant to do that um, directly onto my clothes but maybe yeah maybe spritzing it on a piece of tissue and then keeping the tissue in a coat pocket or something like that might might be helpful um, but yeah look at it ah. but you know it doesn't I mean it's it's rare but it doesn't feel it doesn't look as angry red as the other sites or maybe I'm just really trying to convince myself I don't know I hope this is a bit uh, informative um, if you do also have sensitive skin um, I know whilst everyone reacts to different agents differently but I guess if you do have sensitive skin um, my advice is to really 
really try out samples first even if you do like the scent um, try it on different patches of your skin um, try it for a few times um, because uh, allergic reactions generally don't happen in first go so it's on often with repeated usage that your uh, body sort of um, mountain immune response or allergic response uh, to certain ingredients that is causing sensitivity for your skin so if you've enjoyed this video please um, give a thumbs up and if you also have certain fragrances that you cannot tolerate um, Please comment down below I'll be very interested to know and what sort of fragrances that you can tolerate I'll be also very interested uh, to know and so that we can help each other out uh, you know for those of us who have sensitive skins but just love our fragrances as well um, it would be very helpful to know what sort of uh, perfumes tend to cause reaction and which ones doesn't um, so that we can all learn from each other's experiences um, until next time you all take care bye